Hello and uh, welcome to Cricket Happenings, uh, dear friends and subscribers. Uh, well, uh, today uh, there is one match which is uh, going on right now and that is being played between Northern Districts who actually uh, qualified for the uh, Champions League T20 as you know and they are taking on Cape Cobras. Now Cape Cobras are playing their first match in this Champions League T20 uh, and uh, well uh, right now the Northern Districts openers are putting up a good show here with the bat. The openers uh, Kane Williamson uh, as you know he has been looking pretty good in fact the opening starts have been pretty good if you look at the uh, qualifying stages uh, Kane Williamson is someone who has played pretty well in fact um, there was one shot that Kane Williamson had which really would have surprised everybody including Vernon Philander because he came down the wicket to Vernon Philander uh, and he actually uh, tried to pull him but uh, well even though uh, he has pulled it with all his might and the ball has actually taken the top edge of the bat and sailed over the fine leg for a set. So, but still, uh, you know, Kane Williamson really, really uh, giving it to Philander in that particular over. And Northern Districts right now uh, are doing pretty well. In fact, Cape Cobra has won the toss and they put in the Northern Districts into bat. And Northern Districts have already raised 51, 50 on the board in just six overs so they are going at a clip of 8.50 uh, currently which is pretty good going and Kane Williamson is looking pretty good not out on 28 of 16 balls with two fours and one six and Anton Dave such as opening partner who's also looked good in the qualifiers is not out on 23 of 20 balls with three fours so I'm sure uh, Cape Cobrows have a real task on hand here they have to stop northern districts because Northern Districts are right now uh, sailing at a very, very good pace. Well, so let's um, uh, leave it from here. And if at all uh, any wickets fall or anything happens, I will uh, directly, I will slowly come back to that. But first, let's talk about the second match that happened yesterday. And as I left you, uh, we were talking about Kingsland Punjab innings. I had already spoken about uh, the Kingsland Punjab uh, being hit by lots of wickets. With Virendra Seva going first ball, they had a total of 144 to chase. They had to require 145 to win the match against Hobart Hurricanes, who were making their debut yesterday. Uh, well, the final result was that Kingsley and Punjab were the winners as they won the match by five wickets uh, with 14 balls remaining. And uh, well, they definitely had a sort of a real uh, a sort of a stutter there because at one stage they were 51 for four. And then when Glenn Maxwell departed, uh, after um, providing his, uh, uh, his, his particular sample of pyrotechnics when he was gone for 43 of 25 balls with four fours and two sixes, uh, the score 77 for five, uh, it was looking uh, pretty, uh, uh, pretty hard on Kingsley and Punjab. Uh, but the good thing for them was that George Bailey, the captain, was there at the crease. As you know, he's a, he's a very cool customer and Tisra Pereira was making his debut and as you know Tisra Pereira has been doing well for Sri Lanka of late and well he was the man who actually <coughs> put up a first he had, did well with the ball initially and now with the bat he delivered the goods as soon as he came once Glenn Maxwell was gone well uh, Tisra Pereira definitely didn't waste any time uh, he decided that he's going to play his brand of um, uh, he is going to have his brand of batting and that would be to attack the bowlers and that's what he precisely did. In fact, Tisra Pereira went on to a very, very good partnership. In fact, out from 77 for 5, uh, the only thing that Kings Alon Punjab saw was victory because uh, this was a partnership. It was an uh, unbro unbroken stand uh, for the sixth wicket between George Bailey who contributed an unbeaten 34 of 27 balls with five fours. It was George Bailey who hit two fours to actually bring up the winning hit. And Tisra Pereira was not out on 35 of 20 balls with four fours and one six. And um, all the hopes that Hobart Hurricanes had on a debut match uh, was completely ruined when J George Bailey and Tisra Pereira uh, went on to a partnership. And this partnership had taken the score from 77 to 146. So essentially it was um, 69 run partnership between both the batsmen which took Kingsley and Punjab home 
and Kings XI Punjab won the match by 5 wickets in the end. Looking at the bowling, well Dougie Bollinger definitely bowled well, 4 overs no middle through for 30. I thought Ben Hilfenhaus, even though he took only 1 wicket for 30, I thought he was really on the money. Uh, he was really, really keeping the batsman quiet uh, by bowling in good areas uh, and not allowing any balls in the hitable area. 4 overs no made and 1 for 30 for him. Uh, Cameron Boyce, uh, the leg spinner yesterday, received a lot of tap. Uh, Glenn Maxwell really went after him. And later on, we also saw other batsmen going after him. So Cameron Boyce, the right-arm leg spinner, uh, received a lot of tap. 3 overs uh, league, 36 runs. Uh, ben Lawlin also looked good in his uh, bowling. In fact, he was more economical. 4 overs no maiden, 1 for 26. And Gulbis, uh, 2.4 overs no maiden, 1 for 23. Tushra Pereira of Kingsland Punjab took the Man of the Match award. So Kingsland Punjab has won their first game uh, by, uh, against uh, Hobart Hurricanes, who are making their debut by 5 wickets. But today, as I said, uh, there is one match going on. And uh, right now, I'm going to talk about that particular match. And that match right now uh, is being played here at Raipur. Uh, Northern Districts, as I said, were put into bat by Cape Cobras, who are playing their first uh, game of the tournament. And uh, uh, so far, Northern Districts have really, really gained a lot of ascendancy because they are going at a very good clip, the, both the openers. Northern Districts are 57 uh, for none right now after 7 overs. Uh, and uh, Anton Davis is not out 24 of 23 balls with 3 fours. Kane Williamson is not out 33 of 19 deliveries with 3 fours and 1 six that Kane Williamson hit of the balling of Philander. So, probably I'll keep some uh, cricket commentary going uh, on this YouTube broadcast because it's going to be a pretty, um, I would say, a very, very short broadcast today. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is, in the meanwhile, I'll, I'll just like to share some. Uh, cricket news with you and this cricket news is coming in uh, from Ireland uh, and the reason that I'm talking about uh, Ireland uh, let, let me let me just um, uh, search what, what what's really happening I will uh, I'll just give you the news here I, I'm just going to search the cricket news and tell you what really is happening uh, yes this uh, this particular uh, news is uh, coming in from Ireland and as you know Ireland and Scotland uh, are undertaking uh, a, a tour of Australia and New Zealand to get acclimatized to the conditions. Uh, they're going a short tour uh, before the World Cup starts so that they get acclimatized to the conditions. I thought it was a pretty good move. Uh, and uh, very unfortunately, one has to say uh, that um, uh, it is going to be a very, very uh, tough call uh, for Ireland because uh, on the eve of the World Cup, um, one of their Specialist batsman, specialist opening batsman, a very talented batsman at that, and also plays for Middlesex. Uh, Peter Sterling uh, is uh, doubtful for the World Cup, which is not good news because Peter Sterling, according to me, uh, forms uh, is one of uh, wonderful players, and uh, he is the one who, who really can give some provide some good starts, and he's pretty pretty talented. And I only hope that you know Peter Sterling uh, gets fit for the World Cup. Uh, but he's definitely not a part of the uh, tour of Australia and New Zealand uh, that um, that England is undertaking, unfortunately. And also, uh, the other uh, news that I have is that Max Sorensen, the pace bowler, uh, who is uh, sort of a regular in the Ireland uh, team nowadays, uh, also uh, won't be uh, won't be there for this particular trip because of fractured right wrist, and uh, that is something. Um, now the thing is that he has to really, really see what he can do because uh, uh, because uh, as I said the World Cup is something uh, it's a marquee event and uh, every player it's every cricket player's dream uh, to represent their respective countries uh, in the World Cup and Max Sorensen would be uh, uh, probably thinking that uh, even though he's going to miss the tour of Australia and New Zealand uh, he could probably try to make it to the World Cup but he's ruled out of this tour uh, of uh, Australia and uh, New Zealand, uh, but um, one only hopes that Max Sorensen and Peter Sterling, uh, who could be pretty important uh, in the scheme of things for uh, Ireland for their World Cup chances, uh, at least uh, find a place in the World Cup. In the sense they at least recover from injury and they are uh, they are a part of the World Cup 2015 in Australia and New Zealand um, when playing for Ireland. Now, uh, what what this has done because of Max Sorensen's injury. Graham McCarter, 
a, a, a pace bowler uh, who has uh, who probably one felt was unfortunate that he couldn't uh, get a spot in the Ireland team uh, for this tour of Australia and New Zealand. Uh, he plays for Gloucestershire. Uh, Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. Uh, he's a seamer, and he has been named as the replacement. So he gets an opportunity uh, in place of Max Sorensen. So that's the news that I wanted to really talk about. Uh, other than that, uh, dear uh, fans and subscribers, I'm almost coming to a end to this very short YouTube broadcast, but I'm going to leave you with a cricket update here uh, by saying that Northern Districts are playing against Cape Cobras are 59 for no loss in the eighth over. Anton Davis is 25 uh, of 27 balls with three fours. Ken Williamson 34 of 20 balls with three fours and one six looking good. Uh, there seems to be a sort of a lull now because uh, what we have seen is that uh, the Justin Ontong is bowling a very good over. He has uh, really, really uh, done well uh, and he is really trying to keep things tight right now. Uh, we are almost coming to the end of the eighth over as Ontong comes in and bowls to Kane Williamson. Kane Williamson goes on to his back foot uh, and neatly tucks it away uh, down to deep backward square leg and uh, trots across for a single uh, which brings Anton Davesich on to strike. Uh, so um, Northern Districts uh, 59 as um, um, Dave and uh, Justin Ontong, uh, the office, uh, preparing himself to bowl the, fourth, the fifth delivery uh, of his over and he'll be bowling to Dave Sedge. In comes on Tom, bowls to Dave Sedge and there could be a catch here. Um, well, if um, one does not know what is happening, actually Dave Sedge was coming down the track uh, trying to attempt a big hit uh, of the bowling of on Tom um, and uh, let's see what happens. Actually, they're trying to see whether, whether the ball has really gone over the ropes. Um, in fact, uh, it was a catch which Amla was trying to um, take but probably um, they're, uh, the, the, they're right now checking uh, but uh, the ball probably uh, has um, not uh, not gone uh, probably it has uh, 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 gone into the fence but uh, one has to see what has really happened uh, but there seems to be a signal from the umpire uh, that there is only actually he had pulled it off from the rope it seems so there's only two runs um, uh, given to uh, Anton Davesich as the final delivery is about to be a uh, ball is about to be delivered as Anton comes in and bowls to Davesich and once again Davesich on his back foot um, works it away down to the long on region and takes a single. Well unfortunately dear fans and subscribers I will have to leave uh, this cricket happening show uh, but as you know on Saturday uh, it would be a late night cricket show uh, as you all know, well, I do have some problem with my throat, I understand, uh, but well, as you know, cricket is pretty dear to me. Uh, I have to do one cricket show in a day. Uh, that is uh, coming as a pure passion. As I am talking to you, let's see what's happening. Yes, Dave Sitch is uh, right now cracking uh, Peterson, Robin Peterson, who is bowling his second over, the very first ball he bowls, and uh, Dave Sitch um, employs the river sweep here. Uh, and he has uh, formed the gap past the third, uh, past the short third man region. And uh, well, Philander gave a good chase to it, but uh, well, the ball has uh, gone over the fence. So Davesich gets a boundary. So now I'm going to definitely leave you to your fans subscribers. Davesich is not out 33 of 30 balls with four fours. King Williamson not out 34 of 20 balls with three fours and one six. Northern Districts uh, in 8.2 overs are currently placed at 67 for no loss after put into bat by the Cape Cobras. Well, so dear fan subscribers, uh, wait for me to come on to the cricket show tomorrow. As I said, it's a late night cricket show as usual on the Cricket Happenings on a Saturday. Thanks for your company and thanks for watching Cricket Happenings. Your host Ram will see you tomorrow. Thank you.